open in prayer. The Lord is in this place. Amen. He is the most high God. The great that I am. The ancient of days. Matthew 18, 20 says, Where two and three are gathered, I'm there. This is our assurance. The assurance from, Lord, from God himself, from Jesus himself. He's assuring us to say, today is in this place. He's right here with us. We thank you for his presence. It is such a great privilege to be standing in his presence, I urge you to not take it lightly. I'm thinking about how hard it was in the Old Testament to just be in his presence, to just stand in his presence. The Bible says one will die because of his glory. This reminds me of uh, people like Isaiah that was taken in his presence. He cried out to say, I'm a dead man. Because of his presence, because of his glory. The Bible says, the train of his robe filled the whole room. That symbolizes how important God is. But Isaiah still cried out to say, I'm a dead man. Because he knew the repercussions of being in the presence of God. Just being in the presence of God from nowhere. There has to be rituals. There has to be, I call them rituals. There has to be burning of essence. And uh, sacrificing of booze. But tonight, I just want to say thank you to God, Jesus Christ, that made possible, made it possible for us to be in his presence by not sacrificing of anything. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Wait, even even the, the creatures couldn't just, the creatures in the presence couldn't just be in there. The Bible says they are covered with wings. Their feet are, co are covered with wings. Their faces are covered with wings. Because the presence of God is too powerful. It can also, it can bend them all. It can kill them all. We thank you for the man Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. So this is a great opportunity to be in his presence. It is really, really great. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We magnify you. We bless your name, O oh God. We thank you for your presence, O oh Father, that's in, in this place, O oh God. We call upon your name tonight that you work in this place. You do your miracles. You do your signs and wonders in this place. We welcome you, Jesus. We honor you. We magnify you. We bless you. We exalt you, O oh God. We thank you for your presence, Almighty oh God. Hallelujah.
Yes, Lord. All the of our prayer and fight. We lay our lives, everything that belongs to us, and to the feet of Jesus tonight, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Where we are today is because of you, oh God. Lord, you are the only reason why in these 21 days as a church, as a family, we are set apart to have a deeper level of communion with you, oh God. You are the only reason, oh God, where we want to pour our hearts, oh God. You are our hope, oh Jesus, oh God. You are our trust, oh God. You are the Lord of our foundation, oh Jesus, oh God. You are everything, oh God, tonight. Once again on the fourth evening of our prayer and fasting, we lay our lives before you, oh God. Father, this evening, once again we want to say thank you. From the day one we began our prayer and fasting, you have been with us, oh God. Your grace, your protection, your covering, everything you released upon us, oh Jesus, oh God. It is only through you we can make it to this 21 days, oh God. And our prayer during this 21 days, oh God, as your word says, oh God, you shall release the divine empowerment and expansion in Christ, oh God. We will never be the same again. House of prayer will never be the same again. In the house of prayer congregation shall never be the same again. We shall see Lord's hands in a new way in 2024, oh Jesus. Father, in this year, you shall give us kanini for Jesus, oh God. Father, this land we have been crying, oh God. We have been praying, O oh God. We have been fasting, declaring, walking around, declaring, O oh God. But tonight our cry, O oh Jesus, O oh God. 2024, you are giving this land for Jesus. You are giving everyone for Jesus, O oh God. In spite of the race and colors and languages, you are sending your angels and bringing them to a sanctuary. And oh God, house of prayer shall be the gateway to Canine. Every strong man shall be paralyzed. You are given us the authority to bind the strong man and loosen the heaven in Canine. We pray, God, 2024, you shall expand our territory, oh God. From the north to south, east to west, oh God, spiritually, numerically, financially, and territorially, oh God, we shall increase and expand, oh Jesus. Father, tonight, as we are here, on the fourth day of prayer and fasting, if the enemy has any agenda, that house of prayer family will not successfully complete this 21 days of prayer and fasting. We nullify it in the name of Jesus. If your people are insulated under the blood of Jesus, we shall victoriously complete in the name of Jesus. We shall receive our miracle. Tonight we thank you for the servant of God. Going to minister, O God, we pray you are anointing upon him, O God. We are ready to receive, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Please take your seat. Praise the Lord and good evening church. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. And that is his. Amen. Can we give a clap offering, a round of applause? To appreciate our awesome, loving God. Amen. He, on the fourth evening of our prayer and fasting, you all look awesome, wonderful, glorious. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, wave to him or her and say, I am seeing God's glory on your face. Hallelujah. Amen. You are filled with the glory of God. And I want you to know, we shall successfully complete this 21 days of prayer and fasting. They will like it or not, we shall complete. And we shall receive God's reward. Amen. Amen. And let me take this opportunity to welcome you all on the fourth evening. May God bless you. May the Lord strengthen you. Hallelujah. It is not easy in spite of the busy schedule. None of you are sitting idle, running a pan down to fulfill the assignment God has given to you. In with that, uh, keeping in obedience to the word of God, praying and fasting and every evening coming here, sacrificing time, fuel, energy, everything. May God reward us. May the Lord reward us. We shall see God's reward. Amen. 
from the day one, from Sunday, we have been blessed by Bishop Luquesa. Uh, we received the word of God. And God has precisely spoken to us on past uh, uh, all the days from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and last night. Tonight, we are going to another dimension of our prayer and fasting. Uh, our Reverend Ivan Smashonga is here. He is not a new to us. He's been here. Uh, a man is a senior pastor at Pentecostal Assemblies of God Church in Indola called Indola Worship Center, in the town. Uh, man of God, we are happy to have you. Today he has come with his daughter. Uh, pastor will introduce his daughter. Amen. So, Pastor, there is, this is your home. Amen. Are we, are we ready for the word? I don't want to waste any more, uh, more because man of God can have full one hour. Let's put our hands together. Welcome Reverend Evans to come and minister the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's clap for the servant of God. Thank you so much. Like always, I'm so grateful that I can be here this, this evening. By the mercies and the, by the grace of God, it doesn't take human effort, it takes the grace of God. Thank you so much, servant of God, the leadership of the church for the opportunity that I can be back. I'm back this year for the very first time. 2024, I've never been here. By the grace of God, hallelujah. And I want to wish all of you a happy new year. Hallelujah. I've come with my dear daughter. That's our second born daughter. Most of the times when I, 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 I came, most of the times she was out in school. But this time around, she, she finished her school. She's just waiting for results. Believing God for a good result in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This evening, as we look at the theme for this year, hallelujah, as we look at the theme for this year, it is our season for divine empowerment and expansion in Christ Jesus. I'm not reading anywhere. I hope you have mastered it you as well. Hallelujah. This is our season for divine empowerment and expansion in Christ Jesus. That is our theme. Tonight, I want to talk about the topic of the core of God. Looking at the scripture, the scriptures that we've been given concerning the theme for this year. My topic is the core of God, but uh, this evening I'm going to preach on what I am simply calling when God, when, where, whenever God says go. Hallelujah. Scripture is Genesis chapter 12, reading from verse 1. Genesis. 
Genesis 12, verse 1. Reading up to verse 5. Now, the Lord said to Abraham, Go out from your country, your relatives, and your father's household, to the land that I will show you. Then I will make you into a great nation. And I will bless you and I will make your name great. So that you will exemplify divine blessing. I will bless those who bless you. But the one who treats you lightly, I must kiss. And all the families of the earth will bless one another by your name. So Abraham left just as the Lord had told him to do. And the Lord went with him now, Abraham was 75, 75 years old when he departed from Haran. And Abraham took his wife, Sarai, his nephew, Lot, and all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they left for the land of Canaan. They entered the land of Canaan. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. You are faithful. We are here to lift and exalt your name. There is no one that can compare with you. For you are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the mighty God everlasting Father. Lord, we give you the praise this evening. Lord, we give you the adoration in the mighty precious name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. There is no one that can compare with your name. You are given a name that is above every other name. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that you are the Lord that you are the king, that you are the master, that you are the ancient of days. Fathers, we come in your presence this evening. We know there could be situations that God, your people have come within your presence. Father, we have come in your presence. Let that situation bow before you. Let sickness and disease bow before you. In the name that is above every other name. For we know that God, there is no name that can compare with you. Tonight we come to lift and exalt your name. You are the pillar that holds our lives. You are the sustainer of our lives. King of kings and mighty God. Receive the glory tonight. Receive the honor tonight. Receive the adoration tonight. Master, Lord, men are the plans of a man. But only the will of the Lord is what comes to pass. Tonight we have come to lift and exalt your name. Let your will prevail in our lives, in our families, in our church, in our services, in our prayer and fasting. Let, Father, your will prevail in the name that is above every other name. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are the Lion of Judah. You are the King of Kings. Receive the adoration tonight. Receive the glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, as I stand to speak your word, 
Let this word be a word that to speak to somebody, that to be able to encourage and uplift somebody, oh God, tonight. Father, use me, oh God, to speak a prophetic word, a word in and out of season, that Father will be able to transform somebody's life, that will be able to bring somebody to the place where Master, you desire them to be. I pray, King of glory, tonight in the name that is above every other name. Master, oh Lord God, oh Master, we give you the glory. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. The preaching of your word must be accompanied with the signs and wonders. The workings of miracles. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, tonight let somebody be healed. Let somebody be delivered. Let somebody be restored. I pray, Father, your grace of restoration to master come upon us tonight in the mighty, precious name of Jesus the son of the living God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the foundation that is already led, O oh God, by the other man of God that was preaching on this altar. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, receive the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Whenever God says go. Hallelujah. The story under consideration and this is a scripture that we are going to run with throughout the year because this is the scripture that is we have been given according to the theme for, for this year. So in whatever you do, you must always get back to this scripture. Let God give you a revelation. Let God give you something that you are going to run with in this year. So this is a story of a man called Abraham. Abraham, according to what we read in this scripture, is called by God. And God caused him to go to a land he has never been. How difficult it is to go to a place you have never been. Some of you working in these organizations, when you are given a transfer and you are told you are going to such and such a place and you've, been, you've never been there, you always want to find out from people that have been there. Hallelujah. So the man is called by God God comes to him and says, you are going to a place you do not know. And the man is given instructions. Now the Lord said to Abraham, go out from your country, from your family, from the usual things that you are used to. There are certain things that we are used to. And then God comes and says, you are going to move. You will not remain on the same place. Because I am calling you to a place you have never been to. Hallelujah. He says you are coming out of your country. You are coming out of your family. And you are leaving your relatives behind. Hallelujah. To the land that I will show you. Wherever God is taking you, he's been there. Some of us, men, every one of us here, today is the 18th of January, 2024. These are the only, 18, the, the only days that we have lived in this year are 18. But God has lived the entire year. He has been to the end of the year. So by the time you enter this year, God had already finished and he has already planned something for you. You do not know your tomorrow, but God knows your tomorrow. You do not know your next week, but God knows your next week. 
You do not know your next month, but God knows your next month. That's why we are told in the scripture that God comes to Abraham and says, I am taking you to a land you do not know. And God says, I will show you. The Lord will take you there. Hallelujah. So this man, Abraham, is called by God from a pagan nation in order for him to build a new nation. Hallelujah. I am sure we all know that Abraham, his family was a family of idol worshippers. So God is doing something in this man's life that will take him away from the usual, from the kind of life that he lived. And that is going to be your portion in this year in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This man is called by God and from a pagan nation in order for him to build a new nation. This new nation would be the means of bringing God's blessing to the entire world. According to what we read in verse 2 and verse 3. This man is likened, li, li, listen, listened and obeyed God. He moved out with his wife, with his nephew, Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says everything that you owned. But you did, is that what God told him to do? That's not what God told him. God says, I am taking you out of your country, out of your relatives, and I want you to go. But the man begins to gather certain people with him. He has carried it with him, Lord. And when he goes there, this is what we find. It became a problem to him. Lord became a very big problem to him because he carried things he, did not, he was not supposed to carry. Some of you maybe have carried things that are coming from the, 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 the past year. Child of God, believe you me. At the end of this plan fasting, some of the things that have carried you, some of the leftovers, the leftover problems uh, that you've crossed over with uh, from the last year, they are going to cut, they are not going to follow you anymore in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So the man, the Bible tells us, he carries with him his wife, and some other relatives. And according to the scripture that we have read, even the people that he acquired in that land, he carried with him. Hallelujah. Amen. So Abraham believed God, and he did what God told him to do. He did not ask questions. He did not say, give me an idea. Show me where I am supposed to go. Show me, give me something. Or show me something, at least a clue of where I am going. But the man, by faith, answered, responded to the call of God. When God sends you, you must go. Hallelujah. He also believed that the same God that knows why he's taking him will be the same God that will give him the capacity to be a father of many nations. At this time, the man had no child. Hallelujah. He can call his own with his wife. Hallelujah. So I want to give you a few things that we can learn that will help us Hallelujah. When God says go, you must go. When God says go, number one thing that you must do is you must act by faith. Hallelujah. When God says go, child of God, God is calling each and every one of us to our particular thing that God has brought us on the face of the earth. So when God calls me and God calls you, he may take us to different places because our callings are different and God wants to send us to different places. So when God says go or whenever God says go, you must number one act by faith. 
This is our season. This is our season for divine empowerment and expansion in Christ Jesus. How many of us have received that theme? When you look at that theme, just trying to make some calculations, you look at your life and you look at the theme. These two things are looking different. Because where you are and where and the kind of theme that you've been given are two different things. Anything to do with the divine, it is coming from God. Anywhere you read divine encounter, divine acceleration, divine speed, divine empowerment, or divine expansion, it has to do with God. It has nothing to do with you. This year has everything to do with God. This year, the theme for this year has everything to do with God. God. That's why because it is divine our season for divine empowerment. It is the reason why we must receive and get it by faith. We must re grab the theme and begin to run with the theme. If it means others are going to remain behind it shall not be you. Because by faith you are going to run with the theme. You are going to grab the theme. You are going to get it as a word that has come to you personally. That the word come to the man Abraham. The Lord speaks to Abraham personally and the Lord is speaking to you that as an individual the Lord wants you to run with the theme no matter what happens by faith you are going to get there. It is by faith that the Lord has brought this kind of theme. It is by faith that child of God you are going to get to the end of the year. Hallelujah. Some of you may be looking at your life and think uh, maybe you have a particular condition and be, you begin to think maybe I may not end this year because this kind of condition may not allow me to get to the end of the year. By faith, child of God, as I stand on this altar, I want you to testify to the goodness of the Lord uh, that again this year you are going to cross over into another year. There is nothing that is going to stop you because it is by faith. Uh, it is not a kind of a situation that is surrounding your life, that is surrounding your family, that is surrounding your business, that is surrounding your career. It is by faith that child of God, you look back and say, look what the Lord has done. Yes, because by faith, the Lord one step at a time, he will take you there. He will take you to the place where you are supposed to be, whether the devil like it or not. By faith, we are getting there. By faith uh, we are crossing uh, every hurdle, every barrier that the devil has brought uh, along the way. That barrier will not stand against our lives uh, because we are coming uh, by faith in the power. We are coming by faith uh, in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Uh, by faith we know that we will cross. Uh, we will get there. By faith we know that we are going to experience uh, our season uh, of empowerment uh, and divine expansion. That's the reason why I said it has nothing to do with you but everything to do with the God. It is by faith that you stand and look back and say look what the Lord has done. By faith. If you want to see expansion in your life in your family, in your career, in your destiny, it is by faith, child of God. Some of you are planning big things and when you look at your account, there's nothing in the account. But I want you to know that there's something that you have in your account and that is faith. Faith will take you there. Faith will make you complete that project. By faith, the Lord shall supply according to his riches and glory. By faith, child of God, you will get there. No matter what, the 
challenges and barriers of life uh, you may face uh, by faith the man Abraham the moment he was told uh, he started packing uh, by faith uh, he said I am going uh, even if I do not know where I am going uh, but I will get there and the man uh, the moment he took a step of faith uh, expansion in the spirit uh, something was happening in the spirit uh, when you take a step of faith uh, something begins to happen uh, in the life uh, in your life uh, in your career, in your destiny, something by faith uh, begins to wake up. Uh, when you get there, they will ask you, how did you get here? Hallelujah. I'm saying by faith. It is by faith. When God says go, act by faith. Don't look at your surrounding. Don't look at what is happening around you. Don't look at what you're holding in your hands. You look at, at, at your life by faith. As long as it is written. As long as God has spoken. And he has said go. If it is man that has told you to go. Child of God. I want you to know. That man when man speaks. They may not be there. To empower you. To give you that divine empowerment you need. In order for you to get to where you are supposed to get. But if it is God that is speaks, I don't care how many people try to discourage me. I don't care how many people try to pull me back. I don't care how many barriers I may try to face in my life. As long as God has told me, my child go there. I will start off by faith. I will get there by faith. No matter what, it is faith that no provokes certain things to begin to happen in our lives. Faith will take us there. Hallelujah. When God says go, take a risk and move. When God says go, he is calling you to something. He calls you when he has something for you. Go for it by faith and you will see great results. A walk of faith brings prog progress. A walk of faith brings expansion. A walk of faith uh, brings no you begin to do things that you never expected that you are going to do it is because you live a life of faith the bible says it is by faith that we live we do not live by sight not by things we can see not by things we can touch but by faith it is by faith that we live by faith we will get there by faith things are going to happen by faith our business says will expand and grow. By faith, our careers yes, will grow. By faith, our businesses, whatever it is that have been a challenge in our lives, by faith, we will get there. Hallelujah. You are not going to remain doing the same things this year. By faith, you are moving to the position where you are supposed to move. I'm saying you're not going to remain doing the same small things that you've been doing. By faith, you are going to get there. The devil like it or not, it is by faith we shall get there. Hallelujah. If you keep doing the same things, you keep getting the same results. By faith, attempting you and the greater things. House of prayer. By faith, attempt bigger things. I know you've done bigger things, big things, but you must attempt bigger things. I'm saying you must attempt bigger things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your life, you've done great things, but by faith this year, you attempt greater things. I'm saying by, this, by God's grace this year, by faith this year, you will attempt greater things. Somebody read Ephesians 1.3. Praise be to the Lord God and Father. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. How many are blessed? I want to see the hands of people that are blessed. It is by faith that you are blessed. That is what the scripture is saying. You may not see it right now. You may not touch it right now. But by faith, according to the word of God, according to the scripture, the word of God, by faith we have received it. It is in Christ Jesus. That's why our divine empowerment, our expansion is in Christ Jesus. When he died on the cross of Calvary, everything was in him. He was self-contained with the miracles of healing, miracles of provision, miracles of it is by faith that we get and receive the blessings of God. Yes, when I talk about something big, your people begin to look at me and say, are you mad? When you talk about some people think you are mad. That faith, that faith that you believe in, that you have, that you have, it is the same faith that will take you there. The same people that we are saying you are mad, but by faith they will come back to you to ask you, how did you manage to get it? You ask first before you answer them, you tell them, are you not the same people that laughed at me when I talked about faith? And when I talked about faith, you saw me like a madman. By faith, you will get there. When God says go, act by faith. Hallelujah. When God says do this, act by faith. By faith. To see expansion, we need spiritual connection. And this is faith. I live my life as a man of faith. You may live your life in a different way. At some point, my spiritual father was praying for us in a cell meeting. He prayed for everybody and he pronounced things on everybody. When he got to me, he prayed for me and he said, young man, you have stubborn faith. And that is the kind of faith that I have. I'm saying that is the kind of faith that I have. By faith, you are going to get there. When, as long as God has said, go for it. Don't go to even consult. Sometimes the mistake we make is to go and consult people. They will discourage you. As I'm speaking right now, the Lord has told you something to do in this year. You've been thinking about it. Or afraid. When you talk about faith, remove fear. If you talk about expansion, remove fear. We stand as men of faith. I'm saying we stand as men of faith. <laughs> Sometimes even when we come, we are coming to church, we don't know whether you people are going to come for the service. By faith we prepare our sermons and believe that you are going to be there. By faith we believe and we pray. By faith we believe that the people are going to be there. By faith you are here. We believe and you are here. And the Lord also will do something big for you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. When God says go, he gives you the grace for a new beginning. When God tells Abraham to go, leave his country, at that point, the moment the man said yes to the call of God, the man received the grace. May God's grace come upon you. I'm saying may God's grace come upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, some of you have acted by faith. The Lord told you something and you acted by faith. The Lord gave you a word and you, stu you stood on that word. May the Lord give you grace, that grace for a new beginning. Because the Lord know, knows that the man is tired of staying on the same position. You are tired of being on the same position. The Lord wants you to move to another grace, to another level, to another place where you will see the hand of God. May the grace of God come upon you. When God's grace comes upon you, when God speaks concerning your life, you must take by faith and 
receive the grace of God. He gives you grace for a new beginning. You are treated better than you deserve. Hallelujah. The way people treat us, we don't deserve it. The way people look at you, you don't deserve it. It is the grace of God. I'm saying it is the grace of God that has made you to reach where you are right now. I am saying the grace of God. Some of you are looking at your businesses. They are even going to the evil altars to bring down your businesses and your careers. I want you to know by the grace of God, when God did not speak to you and says, my child, go, go to church and that grace of God comes upon you. There is nothing that will stand against your life. They will try, but they will not bring you down because you carry grace. I want you to look at your neighbor and I want you to know that your neighbor carries grace. The grace they carry is not their own grace. It is the grace of God. When the Lord calls Abraham, the grace of God comes upon the man. When he's going in the bush, when he's going in places he, do not, he does not know, the grace of God is upon him wherever you go. Whether it is in the office, may the grace of God follow you. May the grace of God locate you. May the grace of the Lord Yahweh follow you wherever you go. Every moment of your life, uh, each and every day of this year, 2024, you carry grace. Uh, no matter what uh, people try to do against your life, uh, I want you to know like Abraham, the man carried grace. Uh, you carry grace. Uh, when people in your family, they look at you, they shout at you, they don't consider you. I want you to know that you carry grace. Uh, it is grace uh, that God has put upon your life. When God says go, because he knows, he will give you grace. The reason why many people are not progressing, they are not expanding, they are not increasing, it is because they do not want to go. They do not trust in the grace of God. It is the grace of the Lord, the grace of Yahweh that will take you there. It is not man. Man, man, man can disappoint you, but the grace of the Lord who take you there. It is the grace of God that has brought you this far as a church, as a house of prayer. It is the grace of God. It is not something that you have done in your own strength and power, but by the grace of the Lord, you have reached where you have reached. By the grace of the Lord, I want you to know that when they thought you are going to crumble down, they will not crumble down. Grace will take you there. Grace will take you there. The grace of the Lord, grace of God will take you there. You go with the grace. I'm saying you go with the grace. Do you know that it is not easy to preach? How many of you think it is easy to preach? It is not our strength. It is the grace of God. You can pray. You can prepare. But if the grace is not there. People say they are not anointed. Anointing, I define anointing as a grace. You carry God's anointing upon you. When you enter in the office, you must know that you carry God's anointing. When witches and wizards rise against you, they do a charm against you. When they put a charm and you step on the charm, they thought you are going to fall down and die. You are not going to fall down and die because you carry grace. Hallelujah. When God says go, you go. Knowing that I carry the grace of God. You may not even qualify. Some of us don't qualify to be pastors. According to human standard. But according to the grace of God. We were not qualified. God picked us and qualified us. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. According to that position in your office. You do not qualify. But by the grace of the Lord. 
May you be the one to be picked and the Lord will qualify you. I am saying the Lord will qualify you. I am not saying you are not supposed to go to school. You must go to school. But according to the level where you have reached, some things require grace. May the grace of the Lord begin to operate in your life, in that office. It is the grace of the Lord. The grace of the Lord that you carry, no matter what, try to rise against your life. That thing will not crush you because you carry grace and that grace others need it. That grace that you carry upon your life, there is somebody waiting for it in this year 2024. May it be your year of expansion, divine empowerment. It is grace that empowers your life. You did not qualify, but because of the grace that is upon you, that grace upon you is what no, brings about divine empowerment. You did not work for it. I did not work for it. By the grace of the Lord, I can stand and bring forth the word of God. By the grace of the Lord, it is not by human strength and power, but by the grace of the Lord. Yes, I pray the grace of the Lord upon your life, upon your family, upon this church. As you pray and fast, may the, may the Lord bring grace upon you. The Lord bring grace upon you. Hallelujah. I never qualified. When I wrote my grade 12, I failed mathematics. Nine. My friend, did you know? I never shared with my daughters. I never shared with them. She veered me. So from here, she's going to call the sister. <laughs> Daddy failed mathematics. Mommy failed mathematics. I went back to write. I was put in this car class, very noisy class, GCE class, noisy, about 100 pupils. Young ones, when you sit there, I was still in Bible college. I, w I used to go to school today. I said, uh, this thing, is it going to work for me? Anyway, I said, I'll try. I started searching on the phone, learning mathematics on the phone. Young ones, don't use the phone for bad things. Use it for, for learning. Somebody's calling. Hallelujah. When the exam came, the invigilators were, <laughs> you can't even ask. I wrote that exam under pressure. There's one teacher that knew me at that school. He was asking me, how was it? I said, I think I need to come and the enter again. I said, okay, let me wait for the results. When the results came, I was surprised. At least a merit. <laughs> Grace of God. Some of you don't qualify. Some of you are not even put on the list. Some of you are not even considered. Like the man Abraham, I want you to know because of the grace of God, the Lord will qualify you. The, the grace that you carry. That's why when you are not, people miss you in church. It is grace. Even the kids, when they just see you, they, start, they come running to you. It is grace. Hallelujah. Be, when God says go, you must know. That you carry. Okay. Hallelujah. Humanly speaking, you don't deserve expansion. But I want you to know, by God's grace, you are expanding. I'm saying, humanly speaking, you don't deserve to expand. But by the grace of God, you are expanding. That business is expanding. 
our friend comes to God and prays, enlarge my territory, increase my, my territory. When God's grace comes upon you, your territory becomes too small. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, may grace come upon you. When grace is upon you, you do what no man can do. What others are failing to do, you do it. Grace. As a church, you carry grace. This we have done here is the grace of God. We thank God for everyone that has participated in this grace. Many churches are failing to do this. Churches are doing makeshift buildings. It takes the grace of God. Are you not seeing this place very wonderful? May the grace of God come upon you. Because you have built the house of God, may the Lord give you grace to build your own house in Jesus' name. I'm saying may the Lord give you grace to build your own house in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is not easy to leave behind you the people that you love. It takes the grace of God. When I was told you are, you are leaving Kito, you are going to Ndola. I loved Kito. I don't know why. I said I can go to other places, but Kitwe is my home. When God said go, I said I'm going, Lord. The grace. And at least I know Ndola is better than Kitwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God says go, he shows you where you are going. He says, I will show you. You are like a blind man that is being carried by somebody that can see. The Lord is taking you somewhere. Don't let go of that stuff. The Lord is showing you. He will take you exactly where you are supposed to go. Last time I came to preach, there is a young man that I preached with, that I taught to sit on a chair. How many can remember what happened that day? What happened? I called him, he had told him to sit on a, on a chair. Were there people that lifted him and took him somewhere? No. Nathan, give me a chair. My sister, come. This is for you. <laughs> sit there. I want you to get to where the camera is without standing Without using your legs, but get there. Some of you are struggling with certain things in your life. Hallelujah. Can I have four boys, four, four, four young men? Four young men. Quickly, 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 young men. Four young men. Come, 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 come. God says, I'll take you there. Yes. So every one of you, you follow my instruction. That lady sitting on that chair is blessed. On her own, using her own strength, she has failed to get where she is supposed to get. But she has got. You have tried all you can, but you have failed. As long as you have hope, you have God, don't let go of God. Young man, hold that leg there. Young man, go and hold that front leg. You do not do your own things. God gives instructions concerning you. Young man, hold, your, hold this leg. 
my brother, come and hold this lady. If these women have never in their lives lifted this lady and take her to the place where God want her, wants her, today to happen. In this year, there is a place where you are supposed to be. And there are people somewhere, some of them are still drunk at somewhere. The Lord will bring them to take you to where you are supposed to be. On your marks. Get, I didn't say let go. <laughs> Anything that is supposed to carry you to where you are supposed to carry, to, to be, and it has let go, I pray today in the name of Jesus, it will come back to hold. On your marks, get set, Put her down. The way they have lifted you, may the Lord lift you in Jesus' name. Amen. The way she has been lifted Amen. is the way people are supposed to carry you. Amen. It is God who says, I will show you. He will raise men, he will raise women that will carry you and take you there no matter what, wherever they are. Some of them may not be in the country right now. May God begin to call them to carry you to where you are supposed to go because of expansion, divine empowerment. According to her, all she needed was people to lift her. That is a divine empowerment. Things are delaying you. From tonight, nothing is going to delay you. Because this is your season. When a season comes, no man can change it. No man can stop it. No man can erase it. No man can control it. Your season for divine empowerment is this year. And the Lord will expand you. Will expand your business and your career. In the mighty name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Some of you have been struggling on the same position. I pray that power of struggling let go of your life. And may the Lord take you to the place and to the position where you are supposed to be. She is, the only, she is not the only one that is going to be lifted, to be taken. It has happened for you in the spirit. And that which has happened in the spirit must manifest in the physical. Some of you, it is promotion at your place of work. It has already happened in the spirit. The Bible says, the Lord says, I will show you. May the Lord show you in this year. The only thing and the only favor I want you to do for me, never let go of God. One that knows where you're supposed to go. He's the only one that knows where your business is supposed to be. He's the only one that is supposed to know where your company is supposed to get. It is only God, not man. Man will disappoint you, who use you and dump you. But God, he says, I'll take you there. He could have brought somebody else that knows where he wanted to go. But he says, I, the Lord, I'll take you there. House of prayer, the Lord will take you there. There are people who are not happy that the Lord is taking you somewhere. Even in his family, he began to speak to them and he said, the Lord has spoken to me and says, which God? Because these were idol worshippers. Probably are the, uh, ten thousands of gods. In the community where you are, there are so many gods. But there is only one true living God and true living God. May that true and living God begin to work in the land of Kanini. May the Lord begin to gather people around the community. Because the Lord knows why you are here. You are here for a purpose. He says, I'll take you there. Thank you, Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, move me now, move me now, make my life whole again. Spirit, move over me. I don't know how to sing, but there is a place I reach. I feel by the grace of God I can sing. The Lord is speaking to somebody today. He will take you there. Your expansion has come. You've been failing to sleep. It is about time you began to sleep. Because the Lord will take you there. Hallelujah. He says, I'll take you there. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Move me now. Move me now. Thank you, Jesus. Shakata Proko Shadas. It is well. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. The grace of expansion. Come upon you now. Come upon you now. Shake it in the bush. Just stand and talk to him. Just stand and talk to him. His presence is here right here. Oh, 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Be in the presence of Jesus. Be in the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister. Hallelujah. 
Oh, hallelujah. Today the Lord says He is lifting you to your destination. Hallelujah. Allow the Lord to lift you tonight. 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 Allow the Lord to lift you. season as a house of prayer you are lifting us to a place where you want us to be thank you Lord in Jesus name amen and amen please take your seat please take your seat ushers two ushers quickly two ushers on the fourth evening of our prayer and fasting if you have come with a tithe and offering we have an opportunity to give you may God bless you Hallelujah. Thank you. Tell your neighbor, God is lifting you. Hallelujah. The Lord is lifting you. Tell your neighbor, the Lord is lifting you. The Lord is lifting you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what has been blocking you. It may be a system. It may be a law. It may be a people. It may be a territory. It may be a qualification. It may be your past history. Whatever that has been blocking or delaying you not to make you to your place where God has assigned 2020 for you as a house of prayer family when God says no one can say no may God take you may God take you may God take you shall be your stand shall be your stand pastor thank you so much tonight he just laid the foundation please encourage somebody our brothers and sisters bring someone let them be blessed let them not to miss this our blessing this great awesome presence of God receiving the revelation of God being under the presence of Jesus hallelujah tell the Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus man of God thank you thank you we are blessed hallelujah 
Thank you, Lord. Church, before you leave, tell the Lord, this is my season. This is my year. Hallelujah. This year, I am moving under divine empowerment and expansion in Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, God has spoken for my empowerment and expansion many years before, but it has never happened. Oh, we have a story to tell. We have a, a proof to show. But tonight, the Lord says, this season, the Lord is lifting you. The Lord is lifting you as the man of God visualize. Hallelujah. Tonight, the Lord says, this year, God is lifting us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Father, thank you for the fourth event. Thank you, God, for what you have done. Thank you for the word that you have spoken to us. Thank you for the people of Jesus. As they go, Father, I cancel any form of tiredness, sickness, and attack. Whatever it is, oh God, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. May you protect your people, strengthen them. Anyone on the fourth evening feel weak or tired, tonight we release the divine strength of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the servant of God. Refresh him tomorrow and bring him back again. Bring us, O oh God. Take us home safely. Thank you for the tithe and offering, sacrificial giving of your people. Lord, let them be blessed, O oh God. As we go, cover us under your wings. Bring us tomorrow, 18 hours. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen and amen and amen. May God bless you richly. Have a blessed night. Bring someone, encourage someone tomorrow. Bring them. Let them be blessed. Pastor, reverend, may God bless you. May God bless you.